So with the new data download on Global Doka, we now know that we're going to be getting the Planet Namek Saga Super Saiyan Goku as our Doken Fest unit. And of course, with that, we're going to be also getting the second form Freezer EZA card, which is a very good free-to-play card indeed and a good World Tournament killer. If you haven't seen my showcase on that, I'll leave the link in the description, as well as me using him in Super Battle Road if you want to see him in that situation. Although I didn't use him to the best of my abilities, but uh, he still did a lot of damage, no less, and you got to see a consistent way of versing multiple enemies. But today, we're going to be running the best free-to-play transformation boost category team that I can make on JP Dokkan. I am recording this before the actual update comes along onto Global, and also, I didn't want to do the showcase without the tech cell, which Global does not have. That's the only difference with the team compared to Global's team, but it's such a crucial part of the team that you couldn't do this video without him. Now, today's video is mainly going to be focusing on the Freezer. Like, I picked the event to cater towards him instead of the other units, but in the same time, I'm going to showcase the team as we go along. It's not going to be like a dedicated showcase where I'm just running a bunch of supports. And now that I'm looking at the team, it's actually not too bad. But um, the reason why we're running second form Freezer is because he is the category leader for 77% stat boost and 3 key when fully easy aid. We are running Super Boot as our friend leader. He's the only category leader other than Freezer for 150% stat boost and 3 key. We have the Ella Freezer, which is going to be the linking partner for the second form Freezer. We have the Angel GT Freezer here. We have Arms in here. We have the LR Tech Cell, like I explained. And then the World Tournament Tech Cell, which is a good extreme support unit. And it's actually going to help us use the Freezer much more better. So I'm just going to jump straight into the Super Saiyan 4 Tech Full Power Goku event. There is a multiple fight phase in there, so we are able to get the full passive off with the Freezer. If you guys don't know what Freezer's passive does, it's attack and defense plus 60% at the start of the turn, no matter what. And then if you're versing two or more enemies, you get an additional attack and defense plus 40%, which is why he's great when it comes to multiple enemy fights. And then you get an additional 60% attack up when the target enemy that you choose to attack with him has defense down status. Now, all the boosts are calculated separately, which means you'll be getting around 200% attack boost when it comes to his full ability. And if you're just versing one enemy and you get the defense down status, I think you get around 150% stat boost, which makes him stronger than he looks at the very least. So I'm going to get the setup ready. We do have Super Boot in here. Uh, the main rotations that I would use in this Transformation Boost category team is LR Freezer and Taken Forward Freezer, like I said. Super Boot, although not a really good card, he is still better than a generic free-to-play card running on main rotations. So he is going to take the spot in the main rotation. Usually on a pay-to-play team, he would be in the floater spot. Oh, he took a lot of damage for that super. That's how you know when the category leader is bad, is that, you know, when running both of them, you put them both in the floater spot. So, um, luckily for us, you know, we have low standards here, which means that the super boo will be used um, in the main rotation. So, we actually have the defense down. I might as well do the attack here. Uh, we have double supports now. Right now, he has 132,000 attack stats, 74,000 defense. Of course, this is not really the main focus of the video, but I just wanted to show you guys, just in case you guys missed the, the JP showcase. You never know. 1.2 mil attack stat, though. And that's not without the links. Of course. Of course. Let's see how well he can defend. 119,000. We're going to die here. I can already tell you, we're going to die here. Okay, we're not going to die here. I was exaggerating, but I thought I had a lot more less health, I guess. Does that make sense? A lot less health, not a lot more less health. We got the additional super attack. Arms king. Oh, yeah. Linking up with Boo will be arms. That's why I put him in the flow spot. He is, in terms of links, I think he has fear and faith and nightmare. I think he has ni nightmare with um, super Boo. <laughs> not like I can tell because, you know, everything's in Japanese, but I think so. Now, that will mean that unfortunately, LR Texel will be in the floater spot. I think that's an okay decision. And the reason I think that is because, like, he has big bad bosses. So a lot of our units does have big bad bosses. So he will be one of our crucial partners for getting big bad bosses on the floater. Like our other floaters. Are you kidding me? Defense. Oh, you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Stun. Yes, okay. Alright, we're gonna kill anyway. Alright, that's good, okay. But anyway, continue on what I was saying. Um, our Ella Freezer 
Our second form freezer has big bad bosses. Arms has big bad bosses. And if we get Buhan, I think he has big, big bad bosses. But in this case, we probably won't. Um, I'm going to be using an Android 8 here. I don't really want to use a Princess Snake. So with this rotation, this is like one of the best rotations that we can have. I think there's... N yeah, the cells don't link... The cell and freezer don't link together. Cell is actually lowering the defense of all super units. Which is... Yeah, I, I thought they were possessed for a second. But they're not. Um... Which means we're able to target anyone and still get the max capabilities. We have our active skill activated. I'm going to be using the active skill here. Because that's where we can only use the active skill. The active skill activates on the third turn from the start of the battle. And you have to be facing three or more enemies. So it's very rare to get this active skill. But it's um, when it comes to Super Battle Road, I guess it can be really clutch. So we're going to target the type disadvantage, which I think is Gohan. Or Goten. It's Gohan. For 1.6 million damage. No critical. But that's okay. Um, we are not going to target type disadvantage. Of course. But we're going to target Trunks here. I guess he would be the lowest in, or weakest. Continue on. Target Trunks. Easy 18 key super with the Freezer. Which is great. And then we'll target Cell against the Go 10. We tank him for double digit damage, although we did have Android 8. 1.4 million critical right there. The power. That could have been like 2 mil if we did it on the Gohan. Of course, it's time for LR Freezes to shine. 846,000 damage. So that's pretty good. And now we got to go up against the tech Goku. Get the transformation. It is going to be Buhan. Which I say is okay. It's not as cool as Buicolo, but we do get big bad bosses potentially. And he has the highest amount of defense stat as well. Great defense stat. At the very least, the highest amount of attack. And he can raise his defense. I'm trying to make I'm trying to make Super Buu like cool. But it's very hard to say that. It's very hard to give you a good argument of why he's good right here. <laughs> At least he's going to do a lot of damage. He is 100% as well, which is very rare to find. 100%, 829,000 damage. Keep that in mind. Now we have the Texel here. And since we lowered attack, guaranteed 829,000. Now, I'm, I don't want to compare an LR with a pay-to-play Tiwa card, but come on. Come on. Alright, let's go and link it up like this. We still have big bad bosses. I think the defense stat-wise, yeah, LR Freeze is actually still better defensively over here. And I think we're going to beat this event before the Doka mode, which is quite an achievement, I guess. 1.39 million attack stat. So, I'm going to say, right now, the team's okay. It's actually pretty decent. Like, with the free-to-play cards that are in it, it's just the friend lead. If we get, like, a 170% friend leader, that was actually really, really good, defensive-wise and attack-wise, it'd be amazing. We did take a lot of damage there for the super, but let's not... Let's forget about that one. So, I think I've given you a good sample of what this team can do. So, I'm going to leave a poll in the top right corner. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the team is good or do you think the team is bad? So, I think this will be the final attack. Boo gets to take it. 280,000 attacks there, 100,000 defense. That's pretty impressive, honestly. With double support, that is. 1.7 million attacks that. I think we had big bad bosses as well. 714,000 damage. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a good day. Stay fizzy. Peace out.